Okay, so we're going to use uh, this one as an example. Um, all this detail work is really nice, uh, but it's not necessarily what we want when we're animating. Um, if you take a look at really popular cartoons or animations, uh, you'll notice that if there's any detail work, it's generally from textures that are added on later. Um, the actual base body of the characters are going to be pretty pretty normal shapes. Um, and it's just like a, a composite of shapes that kind of build this form of a character, right? Uh, solids on solids until you build up a person. Um, so one way we can kind of just really easily clean this up, and this works really well for not even, you know, when we're making characters, you can do it for anything, uh, is use the smooth tool. So if we command Y, lets you switch back and forth between wireframe mode, we can kind of get a better idea of what all of our points are doing. We just have a lot of them. So what we can do is we can just go over to this dude. Where are you? No. Hate the new essentials layout. There we go. So if you like click and hold on this. You can pull up the smooth tool here, which for whatever reason unselects your path that you want to work on, so you have to just reselect it and then toggle it. And it's uh, pretty straightforward. You can just like stroke over things. And it doesn't have to be super precise. It just kind of takes the nearest points to where you're using the smooth tool. just kind of works them down. Yeah, so it's straightforward, but it's a huge lifesaver. I honestly didn't know about this tool until like a couple of years ago. And it seriously, it saves so much time because instead of having to go in and refine all those points and stuff, you can just kind of quickly clean them up. The one downside is it's not very accurate. You know, so if you're if you're doing something that's I don't know, like architectural or very geometric, it's not going to work super well just because you can't really control too much of like where the vectors are going to go. But you can double click on it too and choose the fidelity between super smooth or accurate. So if we drag it all the way to super smooth, you know, it's going to do stuff, some funky stuff like that, which is kind of cool. It gives a little bit of like a randomness aspect to your illustrations. And then if we go back and do super accurate, it's going to try to keep to the original points as much as possible. Like that. And it's going to take a couple more like strokes on it. Uh, and then once you're done doing that, I always like to make sure we are cleaning our work as we go. So let's select the all the points that you just worked on, and then go up to Edit, or wait, Object rather, Path, Clean Up, and then just make sure all these are checked: straight points, unpainted objects, empty text paths. Hit OK. I didn't need any this time, but sometimes it catches like weird little, I don't know if you've ever seen like a random, looks like a plus that's just floating off somewhere. That'll take care of that. So yeah, that's the smooth tool. Any questions over that? It's pretty straightforward.